With the increasing number of tools that we have been introducing here at WAN Engineering Wally Tools, uh, in order to optimize the relationship between the groove and the stylus, uh, there have been an increasing number of questions as to in what order do we employ the tools in order to simplify the process, sh shorten it, and get the most accuracy. So that's what I'll be focusing on with this video today. I'm going to focus predominantly on standard pivoted tone arms. There are some slight differences in the approach if you've got a free rolling unipivot. VPI has some of those, um, name, arrow, a couple other manufacturers. Slight differences, which I'll have to go into. I'm also going to avoid discussing the setup process. It'll be for another video. The setup process for WAM engineering analyzed cartridges. That's actually the simplest of all setups but I'll go into that in a different video. So with that, let's get started. So the first step we take is to mount the cartridge to the head shell. Don't worry about where it is on the head shell at this point. And set the vertical tracking force. So once you've set the vertical tracking force, next step is to measure the height of the cartridge. The next step is to install the appropriate number of shims on the dual axis Wally reference to equal your cartridge height and perfectly level the underside of the head shell with the record. All right, so let's level this out. So next step, reinstall the cartridge anywhere in the head shell, recheck your VTF and set up your USB scope or preferably your Wally scope and measure your dynamic rake angle. Next step, use the Wally skater with the anti-skate turned off completely to confirm that the tone arm doesn't have its own horizontal forces pushing it one way or another. This is very important because we want to know whether these forces exist, otherwise they could significantly decrease the quality of the results in the next step. Next step is of course setting overhang and offset angle with the Wally tractor. Next, recheck your vertical tracking force and now bring back the Wally skater to set your anti-skating. So the last major step is to measure your azimuth electrically. Even if your tone arm does not have an azimuth adjustment mechanism, do this measurement. If you find that your cartridge is in need of a change on the azimuth angle, the Wally Fulcrum will help you do that. We're currently working on developing a tool to allow you to measure zenith error at home rather than having to send your cartridge here to us in our lab. This is a very critical alignment parameter that owners of fine line contact style I need to attend to in order to get the maximum amount of information from the groove. When that tool is ready, we'll update this video. So that's the high altitude process for the use of the Wally tools to optimize the relationship between the groove and the stylus. Following these processes, you should be able to experience everything that there is to get from the groove with your current setup. As always, with Wally Tools customers, if you've got any questions, you reach out to us by email or by phone, and we're here to help. So there it is. Enjoy Analog Forever. <laughs>